Backwoods, Virginia. Backwoods. Hey, you know how I showed y'all my new GPS? I got this uh I got this Garmin now. But you know, before I got this Garmin, I had a Ram and Alley. So since I got this Garmin, I see it takes me on different routes than my Ram and Alley used to take me. Because last time I came to this place, it's been a while ago, probably like two years ago. Last time I came here, the Ram and Alley brought me up the other way. Like now I'm coming in, I'm going to make a right. Last time I came, I came that way, made a left. Because if you go straight down this road, it's not far from uh, from uh, the Loves in Franklin, Virginia on 58. Y'all about to see what I'm about to pick up. See him on that trailer right there. Some phone poles, telephone poles. Last time I picked these up, I took them all the way somewhere in New Jersey. And I remember when I came here, they load you by weight. And they're probably gonna, I know they're gonna do the same thing today. They're gonna load me. Then come up here, scale me out. And if you ain't got enough, if you ain't got enough weight, they're gonna tell you to back up so they can put a couple more pieces on you. Let me go check in. Make sure I don't pop my damn trailer tires on the scale. Hey. It don't take it don't take but one time for you to pop a trailer tire on the scale. And you scar for life. Down there in South Carolina. What's the name of that? What's the name of that city, man? I can't remember the name of the city. But it's it's a place called Norboard. That's the name of it, Norboard. It's in South Carolina somewhere. I can't remember the name of that city. Y'all probably been there before. You know, TMC drivers, they run dedicated out of there. So this lady told me to go straight back, make a right, stop by the cones. Yeah, last, last time I was here, it's been a while since I've been here. I think this might be the same spot I was at last time. She told me to stop by the cones. So I guess this is the cone right here. Let me get out and set this trailer up.
You ain't crocking, you ain't rocking. Ain't that what they say? It's my first load check. Probably been about, probably been about 50 miles. The pipes, they settled in. They settled in pretty loose. What's your first ride? Let's see how loose it is. That one, let's see. Ain't too bad. Better than I expected. Oh, that one's still tight. Still tight. Oh, man. Tight, tight. I expected it to be, I expected it to be bad. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. These first two, I put a couple cranks on these first two. On this one, see how much it folds. This one too, especially that one. We get a couple cranks on it. I know about this one. Yeah, this one too. So the first three, a couple cranks on the first three. Hey, let me tell y'all where I'm at. This is uh, North Carolina Welcome Center. This is like literally right across the South Carolina, not South Carolina, uh, Virginia border. Like right there, Virginia border right there. Matter of fact, on the other side of the highway, it's a uh, Virginia Welcome Center, but not for trucks though, just for cars. Hey, as soon as you come in North Carolina, it's like, it's like the air, the air just gets clear, cleaner. As soon as you get in North Carolina, you can smell it. Automatically, you can smell you're in North Carolina. Let me go ahead and tighten these up so I can get back on the road. Took a pit stop. Get this truck washed. Been a while. Made it to Leland. Just got to this place. I checked in at the wrong area. So I gotta turn around and go back to the front. And I seen the office when I came in. I should have stopped. But I seen all these guys down here with these lifts. Come on, come on Freightliner, get up out of this hole. Soft dirt. Got that little soft dirt. So this guy told me, next time I come here I know. If I ever come here again, I'm pretty sure I will, but I know I can't overnight park here too. Not maybe not where I'm at now on the property, but right outside that gate, straight ahead is the gate. You can park on that street. I know these people saw me stop up here. I actually stopped up here and looked at the office, and then decided to keep going. Here we go. This is the right spot. Check in time. What in the little prairie do we have here? Little house. 
also the prayer line. I had to turn around, go back to the truck. Mass required. safety rules up in here I can say a lot about the same as everywhere else but the one thing that I was just telling the lady she was like don't get on your trailer anywhere on this property I was like I got chains like up there on the trailer and she was like don't get up there I said well how? she was like you gotta do it outside the gate I'm like well the, the chains are under the the poles <laughs> she's hey I, I, I work it out with the I'll work it out with the uh, with the forklift operator. I don't think she got the point. There's two layers of chains up there. One on, some on the top, some on the bottom. I gotta sit here until the guy come get me. Meantime, I'm start taking my chains off. Not my chains, my straps. I can't get the I can't get the chains off till they take some lumber off. Sneak up there. They had a little area for the pipe stakes. I had to sneak up there and take these apart. I just left them where they was at. Left them pipe stakes in there. That lady ain't see me on the trailer. My dispatcher just offered me a load out of Mount Gilead. I'm in Leland, North Carolina. I'm like 10 miles from the North Carolina port. And also National Gypsum. I ain't dead heading all the way to Mount Gilead. Like a three hour dead head? Hell no. Nah. Then got a, then the load's going to Madison, same place I just dropped off the last load. So I would have to dead head three hours to get it. Then go backwards two hours to go home. And then Sunday got to drive five hours to get up there. Hell no. Nah. I told her to call me back. Call me back with some better options. In the meantime, gonna make some YouTube videos. <laughs> Actually, I'm about to put this stuff up so I can get in the truck and chill out and cool off. see me outside with all this sun <clears throat> hey I didn't get another load today they didn't have any other loads to offer besides that one load that I would have had to dead head three hours for so I didn't take it 
So I'm home. About to go to the gym. Let me show y'all something. Y'all remember the Tahoe? My trusty Tahoe. Check this out. I just got this about a month ago. It's a GMC Acadia. It's Denali. This thing is nice too, man. Just wanna give y'all a little bit of motivation. Give y'all a little bit of motivation, man. What truck driving did for me. This thing's nice. I don't really drive it too often. I still drive the Tahoe around town. Look, got two sunroofs. Got one there, one right there. That one don't open up. That's some mess that's in here right now. Some Christmas presents. That's why I got a blanket on it so nobody can't see it. But yeah, man, this thing is nice too. Let me get in here and crank it up. Let me crank it up for you. Oh yeah, it's nice. This is the dash. I don't know how fast it'll go. I ain't took it up too high. Whew. Next week, I'm gonna be running some dedicated loads. That's what my dispatcher went on, got me doing next week. Cause my buddy, if he watching this video, and when I was, that, that last video I dropped, when I was at Madison, and I said the other PNS driver didn't have his uh, tarps, the bungees off, that was my buddy, uh, McKinley. But he got to go to Birmingham. He told me Tennessee, but dispatcher said Birmingham, so I'm really not sure. Maybe she got it mixed up. But he got to go somewhere next week. And he runs dedicated out of Cofield. Cofield to somewhere else. You got to do like three or four loads a day. You know I mean, I ain't saying you got to, but that's how you make the money. You got to go back and forth. It's like a 40-mile difference. Go there, dead head back, grab another one. So that's why I came home empty today because I'm starting that next week. So I'm going to see how that works out. Whew. But yeah, man, let me get on get on up here to Planet Fitness and get try to get fit. Flatbed gang, man. I ain't said it in the last video. Flatbed gang.